What is up, you guys? HMK here once again, and I think I've cracked the code on something that has been troubling a lot of people with Ventus's and now Lorium's inclusion in Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Ventus, I mean, like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna be like, yeah, Ventus, oh my god. And then Lorium, oh my god, aka Marluxia. The thing is, what are they doing in the times after the Keyblade War, which is like hundreds of years before the time of Kingdom Hearts? And how are they there? And then they appear as Ventus in Kingdom Hearts Now and as Marluxia in Kingdom Hearts Now. I mean, how is something like this possible? Is it the Book of Prophecies? Time travel? I mean, like, when I try to apply everything else, I just keep drawing a blank because it kind of crumbles and falls apart. But I have found an interview with Nomura from 2009! That can not only explain a lot of things when it comes to them being in our time, in the new time, but it's also going to make me hold an L to my chest a little bit because for the longest, I was under the impression, I mean, like, time does not flow in the realm of darkness. We all know that, all right? But under the impression, but I was, you know, under the impression for the longest that nobody's do age. We've seen an age difference between Enzo in Birth by Sleep to what he is now as Zexion and then, you know, Enzo in uh, Dream Drop Distance. We've seen a difference between Brag and Zigbar and all that good stuff. But, you know, it could be that their appearances are slightly altered or radically altered when we apply something like Lee and Axel because, you know, the teardrops or whatever. So, the quote from Tetsuya Nomura from 2009 that can break everything and puts on his head and explain why Ventus and Marluxia, aka Lorem, exi exist in that time and exist now without any time travel bullshit because apparently you can only go forward in time as long as you have a version of yourself there and you can't go back in, I mean you can go back in time as long as you have a version of yourself there so time travel is weird because you have to have yourself at a certain point in time in order to get to that point in time but you can't mess with the flow of time like the most current time which is time travel theory bullshit but this is what Nomura has to say when an interviewer all right they're into being in, he's been into for 358 over two days from 2009 the interviewer asks him in Famitsu Famitsu says how old is Zemnis and Nomura asks and Nomura answers nobodies don't age they exist they exist as they were a time of becoming a nobody he seems about 30 years old so friends that's the code i know you guys are expecting some big huge like theory video where i go in depth in it, but that's it that's all it needs to be i'm gonna hold my l where i said where i thought nobody's aged but apparently they don't so that's the way ventus and lorem as marluxia can exist in that time and come up to all of, all the way to our time and still look young at one point i'm pretty sure that ventus became a nobody and then got recompleted god knows how before he met up with zane or probably that'll explain it probably that's how he's so special with the keyblade and whatever and then lorium continues on grows his hair up goes gets a little bit older older becomes a nobody and then stays as a nobody throughout the annals of time until he comes to contact with the organization and he stays looking young because nobodies don't age Boy, and this will also explain why Marluxia and Ventus are particularly very strong characters when they can be. All right, Marluxia was weirdly strong for what he was number 11 in the organization. You know, uh, so strong to the point where Zemnis named him leader of Castle Oblivion. And this strength could pertain to him being truly, him and Ventus being truly the oldest nobodies. Because under our impressions and everything that we've seen, we thought that Zemnis was the oldest nobody being Xehanort's nobody. And that's a lie! Because there has been a lot of things that have been lied to us in the Kingdom Hearts series. Especially the part where it's like, oh, but nobodies, they don't have hearts. They can never have hearts. That's the reason why they're doing all this shit, to gain hearts. But it turns out, hey, they can have a heart. Lies! Lies being fed to us by Xehanort. He's not the oldest nobody. Marluxia and Ventus. Well, Ventus in the sense where he's, he's he become a nobody way back when. But Marluxia is the longest lasting and the oldest nobody. That's how he's able to keep his useful looks. Come from that time. Be in our time. Don't age. Get reconstructed. Back 
to the age where he became nobody and he's Gucci. That's it, guys. That's the code. Crack, crack, crack the code. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. So, guys, until the next Kingdom Hearts video, I've been HMK. And I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.